Hey kids, you know what? I don't get out that much, or at all. It's been like two years now. I'm not gonna say I'm desperate for a woman, but that Alexis Sinclair poster didn't used to naturally stick to that wall, you know what I'm saying? So clearly what I need is a way to talk to the females, and I think I found the perfect game to help me out. My darling, I'm Richard LaRuina, the world's most successful pickup artist. Maybe you've seen me on the BBC, FHM, Men's Health, The Guardian, or even Piers Morgan. You're, you're a dick, aren't you? <laughs> Let me just say that when Piers Morgan is calling you a dick, it might just be time to stop everything you're doing. He didn't even block me. Pussy. We made Super Seducer to condense 25 years worth of proven psychological seduction tricks and teach them in a manner that gives players complete freedom to fail and screw up. Yeah, of course, that's what I meant. When I said I needed some tips to help me out with the ladies, I meant psychologically manipulating women into having sex with me. I need me some of that. This is exactly the kind of game that speaks to me, you know? To tell me what to do to get girls to like me because I'm a piece of shit and I can't just be myself. I guess I need to be British and a sociopath, so let me just stop. Uh, mm -hmm. Cheerio, lads. Let me corn some birds into touching me dangly parts, all right? Hey, mate. Richard LaRuina, your friendly neighborhood seduction guru here, and welcome to Super Seducer. I'm so excited to be getting it into your hands. I'm so excited to be getting it into your hands. Too easy. Move along. But it's also going to be really interesting, I hope, and psychologically challenging because we used real dating principles in coming up with the game. Psychologically challenging. This menu shows a lot of this guy before he grew his beard out. I didn't realize I was getting dating tips from Corey Feldman. You wish. It's just not polite, is it? Well, if you did the face and the heart thing, it would've worked, you fucking amateur. That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. Gotcha. Dude stopping her in the middle of the street, it's fine. I just saw you and wanted to let you know that you look really elegant. Okay, but unless she's like 12 and doesn't speak English, she knows you're trying to bang her. I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? Feed squirrels? Yeah. And ducks? Or squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, little uh, guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. What do you of. feed them? Like hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> um, almonds? Almonds? Yeah. Yeah. That's their oh, favorite, is it? It seems to be. That's why they're really cute, aren't they? They are very cute. <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. Yes. If I were having a conversation this fucking boring with a girl, I would end it. This isn't even part of a dialogue choice. This just plays out. This is just what this looks like. That mm. sounds fun, actually. I never thought of that. But buy some almonds, go feed the screw. You should try it sometime. Okay. She sounds a little pissed. Maybe I should back off. Let's let her do the talking since I'm boring. In the beginning, the girl actually shouldn't do most of the talking, so you don't want to ask a bunch of questions. So what's your plans for today? What? Feed squirrels? And ducks? Or sort what do you of. feed them? Like hot dog almonds? Yeah. That's their favorite, is it? You yeah, like animals? Fun. Oh no, I got it wrong. My heart is literally broken because I blew it with this girl I just met who likes to feed squirrels. Yeah, I was just walking. There's a nice park down there. And then I'm going to meet some friends, but I've got like 40 minutes and that's why when I saw you and I thought you looked friendly, so that's why I came over and said hi. Okay. No. That's my Shut name up. too. I'm oh. Alexa too. Nice Shut to meet you. Up. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Isn't Shut up! Just because you put glasses on a guy called Caveman doesn't make him smart. And tell me what you do because you, you look a bit artistic. She looks what? You look a bit artistic. Well, that's not nice. This isn't 4chan. We prefer to say on the spectrum. What's your name? Alexa? No way, you're joking. No. That's my name too. I'm oh. Alexa too. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Isn't that crazy? Of course, it's important that you can uh, pull it off, you know, say it in a cheeky way. And it's another thing where it's guaranteed to get a laugh. Hey, Richard, buddy, can I call you Dick? Okay, Dick, let's, let's meet you have a chat, man. You can send these underage Ukrainian prostitutes out of the room for a second, okay? Cool. Dick. Dick, I gave you a chance, Dick. But you just had to ruin comedy, didn't you? Didn't you? It's a great one. Go out and try it. This is perfect because if I try this shit out on a girl and they're dumb enough to respond to it, I won't be attracted to them anymore. Score. So yeah. do you always stop girls in the street? I mean, I don't personally, but we have the options here, yes or no, but also this other one, not too often, but when I like the look of someone, I'm single, why not? This is the right choice because actually it's honest and it's disarmingly honest, so... Disarmingly honest. Look, we're not going to promote honesty here unless it gets the girl's guard down. Not saying that you shouldn't be honest, just saying that you should be honest if you want to bang this chick. But it sounds like she doesn't want to have Why sex Why aren't you with understanding you? this? I don't... 
Oh man, this is escalating. Now I gotta super seduce two chicks at the same time. And I know the right answer is the lie, obviously. Ask them to help you choose a present for your friend. I'm gonna mark the time of the conversation that a girl with any sense knows that you're trying to pick her up. Oh, excuse me. Can okay. you help me with something really quickly? Uh... Yes? Okay, okay good. Right, mm -hmm. what it is, is um, tomorrow's my best friend's birthday, uh -huh. and she's a girl, and she looks kind of similar to you, you know, kind of stylish and stuff. There we go. It's a good choice here. Um, it's pretty much guaranteed to work. Oh, this is so boring. Off Russell Brand keeps babbling about this girl who's a friend of his, who only exists for the purposes of picking up one of these girls, and he's got a whole backstory, man. He's, he's a pro inventing a human being to get someone to touch his dick, but remember, kids, necessity is the mother of invention. So my name's Richard, by the way. Anastasia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet oh, that's you. a nice name. I am. Oh, thank you. That's a good name, too. I'm Richard. <laughs> that's a nice name. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was a, uh, like... Old English name from oh, yeah? kings and stuff, yeah. Oh. Ugh. These girls aren't acting like this guy is boring, awkward, and cringy, so maybe they're all more talented than I give them credit for. They still don't seem like real people. I'll tell you what, this might be a shitty dating game, but it's not a half-bad Blade Runner game. I feel like I'm void comping these chicks. You're watching television. Suddenly you realize there's a wasp crawling on your arm. I'd kill it. Yeah, sure, you dance closer and... Oh yeah, I'm going for the moonwalk. Moonwalk? Really? Yeah, fuck you, dick. You can't moonwalk. See how it doesn't show your feet? Look at her mouth while she's talking. You're gonna make me go this low, super seducer? I gotta scrape the bottom of the barrel for you? Okay, sure. Got a little pretty mouth. I would go for the crazy answers, but none of them are funny. They're cringy, and they go on too long. Watch this. So, do you have any bad habits? Well, since you asked, I mean, I don't think it's bad, but it could sound a little extreme, but I like to inflict pain on people. Um, I like to... She's in trouble now, isn't she? Okay, you think that this answer's gonna go one way, but we're not talking about BDSM. I thought that was where we were going, but what he really means is that he tortures human beings for fun, and that she might be next. You know, when someone does something bad to me, or to someone else, then I like to just persecute them. I think I need to find my friends. Whoa, are you sure you want to do that and make an enemy of me? Followed by Limey Wiseau here telling you that violence has no place in dating. No shit, Sherlock, but that's not what your dialogue options made me think about. Because my brain wasn't at torture this chick, it was at torture this chick in a way she enjoys. Okay, time to be honest again. He's a liar. The demon is a liar. He will like to confuse us. But he will also mix lies with the truth to attack us. You know what's weird? None of these girls are British. They're in England. This guy is British, I think. But you've got American girls, Eastern European chicks. I wonder why that is. But generally speaking, British women are not great because first, they don't look very good. They don't look after themselves. They think they're fine as they are and you should love them for the person they are. Oh. Okay, nothing weird about that. I don't like British girls because I'm afraid of recolonization. The Limeys want us back, guys. The Queen's in on it. Benedict Cumberbatch is part of it. It's bigger than- And what else do you like to read? Do you like- I generally read- Fiction, non-fiction? Fiction, and like 20th century American lit. You're reading a magazine. You come across a full-page nude photo of a girl. Is this testing whether I'm a replicant or a lesbian, Mr. Deckard? Just answer the questions, please. Run the cube routine? Oh yeah, is that the one where you place her in a prison filled with booby traps and math problems? What the fuck are you talking about? A psychological test? You know, I once fucked up a guy's face for telling me that old Castlevania games had good controls, and I think this is really weird. All right, it's really interesting. Do you want to do it just right now? It takes like one minute, and it'll tell you all about your personality. Sure. So this tells you, um, this tells me about your character, so... Jesus Christ, this is boring. How much of a game needs to be playable for it to be a game? It's so boring and it doesn't need to be, but it just drags on and on. Pick the funny option, Sivvy. That's what this game's about. Foolproof, inappropriate, crass, direct. There's a restroom over there, right? And wait a second while I tell you my plan. Go and go to that restroom and I'm just gonna bang your brains out. Oh my God, no, no, just, you're a pervert and I want you to leave I've my heard table. That before. Okay, Go. fine. I'm going. 
True gentleman. Look, I know it's supposed to make me cringe, but it's making me cringe for all the wrong reasons. Like, I should feel bad for this girl and laugh at this guy's increasingly terrible suggestions. No, just... Well, just quickly, three, four minutes. I know you're busy. But this man is not a comedic actor. He's trying to ad-lib this. And this was the best take they got, I guess. Go to the, I don't need to go to the bathroom to... I wanted, like, I don't need to... So much of this game is like this, especially the parts that are supposed to be shocking. They run on longer than a shitty Family Guy joke, and I'm never taking advice from this fucker about what a guaranteed laugh is, I'll tell you that much. It's guaranteed to get a laugh. Okay, so we're right into this dude being creepy all over photos of this girl. It's guaranteed to get a laugh. I get it, this guy's a total beta. Look the way he's dressed and how awkward he is. Will someone please help him? Skeevy Jesus, please help him. This girl asks you to cook a gourmet meal for her cat. During this weekend to come and to cook for it for to Tom. Cook. Yes. So you've been a friend for so long, and I don't know why, because she seems like a weirdo. I get that you love your cat, but if it can't go a couple of nights without gourmet meals, who owns who, bitch? Obviously, I say no, because fuck that, and also, no girl will ever ask you to do this shit for her because it's ridiculous, and if she does, why are you her friend? Because you wanna fuck her? If you're in that situation, and this is some sound advice from your pal Civvy, don't get into that situation, and if she wanted to fuck you, you'd know. She doesn't know whether she wants to have sex with me. It's that she doesn't know. That's not know. the issue. To give the game credit, it tells you not to sabotage this girl's relationship, but you still have to lie a little bit. I like how I'm saying the right thing with shitty intentions. And how about your love life? Are you still single? Anyway, how is your sex life? Too easy. Oh, how are you I'm doing? Serious. Not very good. My wife? It's my boyfriend. We it's, broke it's, up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Mm. It was actually the Okay, let me see here. Tickler? No. Ask what you could do to be less awkward? Absolutely not. A lot of people who are awkward are cool, like Mark Zuckerberg, because he made a website that led you Union Jacket to her pictures earlier. Oh, and tell her a story to show your value. Now, the first step to any erotic conquest is to D. Demonstrate your value. Look, I'm down for dentisting this chick, but I thought we were friends. Casanova. Yeah, you're goddamn right. First date Alexa, with a nickname like that she obviously puts out. Let's go in hard. Be nice about cats and about her. Psychologically challenging. Here we go, this one has to be about BDSM. Yeah, that's really upping the ante. I missed it at the cinema, but I just saw Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm. Have you seen it? No, I heard it was bad. Uh, as a movie it's bad, but you know what's cool? It's just all this stuff about you know, tying girls up and having a little dungeon in your house where you have all of the quips, you know, all of the quips, oh, accessories and whatever. It's a little so. silly, a little over the top. Quipsh. She's so subdued, she's downright polite about this. It's so fucking boring. How do you make the BDSM option fucking boring? What you're supposed to say is, I really don't have time for movies. I don't even own a TV. Life is about living, not sitting in front of a screen. And I assume the next option is, look at me, I'm vegan, prick. Well, playing the violin is great, obviously. I, I don't know if I can... You're dreaming, um, and I'm wrong? leaving. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Let me just, I'm just sending you a picture. Do you have your phone here? No, I'm sorry, oh, okay. I left it in my I'll car. send it. So... Why would you write the scene with her not having her phone, or is this just a bad ad lib? Either way, this is still really boring. I mean, the option says show her your dick, and I was thinking you just whip it out right there, but no, he sends her a picture of it. This is like playing a platformer with bad jumping controls. You never know where you're gonna land. Okay, so now I have to do this thing again from the first chapter. Except now it's in a park. There's only ten chapters, and it's the same thing. You even do the same first question, except now it's only two choices, and one of them is obviously stalkerish. Psychologically challenging. Oh god. Uh, come on, Sivvy, you can do this. Just remember, uh, just remember what your Uncle Frank used to tell you. Glorful go up like a dozen movies, boy. But you're gonna need two hours and seven nickels. So yeah, I'm this Eastern European gigolo's wingman, and he's terrible. He's all nervous, so I want him to have a drink to calm down, but... Yeah, man, you just need more confidence. Here, finish some of that, have, have as much as you can, and then you get in there. No, probably oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, Dutch courage. Okay, the option doesn't say get him blackout drunk, it says calm him down. Have as much as you can, and then you get in there. So next time I'm out at a club and my friend wants to mellow out, we'll just go into the bathroom and do a speedball. Here's what you do. Alright dude, look, if you don't go and talk to them, I'm gonna go over and just scream in front of the whole bar. Drake likes you, he thinks don't, you're sexy, he wants you to be his that. girlfriend. I won't do it if you go and talk to them. What is this, middle school? Why the fuck do I have to tell him what to say? I'm the wingman, I'm not in charge. 
Are there any British people around here? This game has more Slavic hookers in it than a Taken movie. Yeah, I like books as well. Actually, I read a lot. I have um, the Kindle, the paperwhite one, like one of the newer ones, and it's got better contrast. So, you know, the old one was grey, and now the text is like more black and white. And when you change pages, it's, it's faster. But So you're just supposed to talk about reading here, but you're just talking about your Kindle, not what you read. By going on about yourself, you have the chance of boring the girl. Oh, did I bore her? I can't tell. All options lead to boredom. I'm supposed to compliment my friend here. I'm his wingman. He was really there for me. So since that day, I realized, you know, he's a super guy. And Wonderful. This is one of the most powerful moments in the entire game. As someone who's awkwardly flirted with girls, this is what it sounds like because you had bad actors pretending to have a good time. 100% accurate. When the girls can see each other, they can find a moment, you know, where there's a lull in the conversation um, and they can get out of there. If you turn them away so they can't see each other without kind of, uh, you know, looking back, then it makes it much harder for the conversation to break up. Yeah, I don't give them an opportunity to leave. And I'm thinking, why don't I let my friend decide what to do? He's, uh, I'm his wingman. Hmm, see, you left it to him, and he's a dumbass, isn't he, right? You're the wingman, you need to help him out. Oh, wait, no. I have to do it. Are you sure this isn't just some dick who hired you for dating advice? I'm sorry, I mean tricking girls into fucking you advice. Why are you out at a club with a dude who isn't good at this? You're trying to pull a confidence game that requires two people, and one of them doesn't know how to do it. So you've loved this girl forever and you never said anything because, oh wait, we, we did this, except now it's in an office where you can hear the sounds of typewriters in the background. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's good work. We're really inside of a video game. You're in a computer game, Max. I was in a computer game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. I'm kidding, this isn't a game. I'm just gonna ask if she's single, you know, direct to the point. And he says it like a weirdo. Hey, listen, question about this report. Mm -hmm. um, are you single? Do you have a boyfriend? You're thinking about going to the place where she does CrossFit because why would you want to have a naturally flowing conversation or chemistry with someone? But it sounds like she doesn't want to have why sex with Why aren't you understanding you? this? I don't... Oh, I get to choose. How about coffee? Coffee's boring and, you know, we love drinking, right? We want some alcohol. Otherwise, you know, how'd you make a move if she's sober? Oh, God. Oh, okay. Sit next to each other, not opposite the table, which you know... So many people sit opposite each other on first dates and it gets really awkward. And the worst thing, you can't touch her up, right? So you can feel her up. Correct answer. Check her pulse? Yeah, if the void comp isn't working, sure. Cool as a cucumber. God, this is taking forever. Anyone who's playing this game for dating advice probably would have come ten minutes ago. What grade would she get in kissing school? No. Fuck, that's cringy. Pounce on her? Uh, no. Tell her she looks like a baby lamb? What? I did it. I'm a super seducer. Maybe this game isn't really intended for me because I'm not a guy who feels the need to treat women like objects and vice versa. But I have some healthy advice for you guys who want to use this game to help you out. You know, you hopeless virgins who think that you're awesome dudes who don't get the sex you rightly deserve. Save up your money and buy a sex doll. Make sure to get the model without implanted memories though, otherwise they get a little emotional and nobody wants that. Guaranteed to get off. Oh.